Here's a country jazz kind of bluesy thing that you could play. It's a lick in a key of C. It goes like this. <laughs> So essentially what's happening here, we're playing out of the A position, a bit of your bar chord. We have this pedal note where we're going up the blues scale. We get to the flat five, and that's when we bend up to the five. That's a cool lick to just play anyway. You can keep going up and down. So we go. So a bit of the country influence there is you don't actually have to pick each note. You can get a bit of that chicken pick and sort of pick every other note. Works kind of cool. So you get up there. Establish the bend. Get to the G. Then sustain it with a bit of vibrato. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide up to the 8th fret, which is the note we're bending to, and then we're going to do a tone and a half bend up to the B flat. So the B flat is the flat 7 degree in the key of C. That sounds really cool. Gary Moore would do a lot of bends up to the flat 7. So we get that. Same deal when you get up there, establish the note, and do a little bit of a vibrato. Whoops. You can either kill the bend when you get to the top, or you can let it ring a little bit. So that is a lick in itself, but then the second half of it is a bit jazzier. We get down to the A shape again, uh, of the C chord. You know, we've got your cage positions, and this is the A position C. We encircle the third. It's a very bebop thing to do. Then you slide from the tonic down to the flat seven. Continuing on with that jazz thing, we're going to play a little arpeggio here. Like that. So it's a D minor arpeggio, but it is it, it comes from within the C mixolydian scale. You get it a lot in bebop lines where people will be going like So essentially that's kind of what we're doing, taking part of that. So we get scale it 